Hi guys, I hope you have a wonderful day. So today we will be growing strawberry in the garden tower. There are so many strawberry variety out there, but the one variety that I really love is called Alban strawberry. And this one, the fruit is like really big, crunchy and sweet and we all love it. As you guys know that strawberry can grow wild and take so much space in the garden and every single year all my raised beds are occupied with other summer crops so I always grow my strawberry in the vertical garden and this season I'm going all out with berries I have raspberry, blueberries, uh, strawberry and uh, blackberries so I have some of the strawberry that I planted with uh, inside the blueberry bed but it's not enough for us so my kids love strawberries so I will be growing more in the vertical garden so let me talk a little bit more about strawberries so strawberry love acidic soil and there's a, some different kinds of uh, strawberry that you can purchase you can purchase the bare roots you can purchase the small plants or you can purchase these established plants so if you purchase from the bare roots or small plants and when the first fruit, I would recommend to cut the first fruit out because you want all the energy to focus in growing and giving you a lot of berries later in the season. But in my case, I purchased this strawberry that already established that have the fruits, the flowers, so I'm going to leave it. So there are three types of strawberry. So don't confuse with the variety. This is a type of strawberry. So the first type is called June bearing strawberry, which normally it produces a largest yield per season for a short period of time. And they produce only one time. And the other type called ever bearing type, which is produced twice a season. Uh, usually it's early summer and early fall. Uh, and the last type called day neutral plants, which is produce the fruit throughout the growing season. And strawberry require a lot of sun, at least six hours of direct sunlight a day in order to produce the maximum yield. And I planted the strawberry in the garden tower and I will place it right in the center of the garden so it will receive the sunlight all around the planter. For the fertilizer, I'm using this brand, but you guys can use any brand you want. You can use the berry tone. Uh, this one is really good for berries, all kind of berries, for calendula. I'm sorry, it's not calendula, for hydrangea, for azalea, uh, all the acidic loving plants. This fertilizer is for them. All right, so right now I will be showing you guys how I mix the soil that perfectly for strawberry and especially this kind of mixture is specifically for the vertical garden or in container. First you start off with a good potting mix. So this one I really love it. Uh, it's I think the brand from uh, miracle Grow, and it's organic uh, potting mix and it's also mixed with compost for you already so I don't have to add extra compost. Uh, the soil is really smooth uh, and less chunky, which is really good, uh, especially you growing in container or in vertical garden. And next step, I add perlite. I add two buckets uh, of perlite and I don't need to add compost because it's already mixed in the soil. And last step, I'm adding the fertilizer. So this is a slow release kind of fertilizer. Even though you add a little bit too much, it won't damage the plants. But you always follow the direction on the package just to make sure you add the right amount. So I mix the soil well. Uh, and by the way, I'm using kitty pool. And this one is like life changing in the garden, especially when you mix uh, the large amount of soil because it's less mess as you guys can see I love this pool so much I think I picked up from uh, Target for $10 alright so soil I mix and now it start to fill in the planter I got this planter from green stock vertical garden and I own multiple of them you guys and I had them since the beginning of my garden journey which back then I don't really have a lot of space so I grow vertically a lot of uh, my vegetable uh, from you know cucumbers to lettuces to strawberries and I really love it so much 
But right now, since I get a lot of space in the garden, uh, I use the vertical garden for strawberries and lettuces during summer. When I first used this uh, vertical garden, I made some mistake along the way. Uh, one mistake that I made was um, I used the soil that I got from the hardware store directly without mixing anything and then uh, and plus the soil that I pick up it's kind of a little low quality of uh, uh, mix I don't want to say the brand but it's a lot of wood chip and um, and the soil is getting so hard after you water a couple of time and my vegetables are so struggling then I uh, figured out to mix the soil again. Uh, I picked a little high quality of potting mix that less of the wood chip, less chunky and have more nutrient. Add some compost, add some uh, perlite. I used, I would say I used about 30%, between 30 35% of uh, perlite to improve the drainage uh, in the planter. And since then, my vegetable always thriving uh, because I got a fluffy soil. So each tier of this vertical garden, there's six cells, but I leave one spot open just in case uh, the strawberry plant produce a runner that I can grow in that slot. So when I plant uh, the strawberry, I kind of tilt it to the outside a little bit. So when it grow, it kind of grow bushy on the outside instead of inward. The soil is very fluffy and I almost guarantee that the strawberry will doing well in this vertical garden. And also you guys notice that I'm using straw. So this is the certified organic garden straw. I add a very thin layer on the top of each tier. It just for the water retention. And the strawberry you can also grow from seed but it just takes so much time and takes so long. And I just don't have the patience for that. So I normally just buy the, the starter, but this time I got a bigger starter so I can get the fruit the same year. So this strawberry plant, I can harvest the fruit maybe in just a couple months.
All right, so I'm done with all five tiers. So this is the top tier, and I just want to show you guys there's a line in here. Uh, show you the soil level so make sure you fill in the soil to the top and I leave about an inch uh, to the top of the planter just to make sure when I water the water not overflow and making a lot of mess now I'm adding the water tub or you can call water reservoir so vertical garden from green stock they have a billion uh, water system which is really nice uh, so I just fill in the water in this water tub. Fill in, I fill in all the way to the top and also I water a little bit on the outside pocket as well. Just want to make sure that all the plants receive enough water. So there are one more thing that I want to talk to you guys about is the strawberry runners. And strawberry produce a lot of runner. Runner it's like the baby plants and on each runner they also have a root that you can grow. That's why when you grow either in raised bed or in ground, if you don't want the strawberry to spread all over the place, take over your entire garden, you have to prune the runner. And another way that you can do is you can pot up those runner and grow as a new plants and you get free plants. So I love this method so much. So I'm using this stick. You can use toothpick and you kind of snap in half but don't snap completely just just do like that and then add a little dense on the soil and you use a runner because runner they have like a little root bolt right there the crown and just put it right there lightly on the top and then i'm using this stick to pin it down so make sure that the roots area touching the soil so they can grow and I leave this uh, runner pot next to the mother plants and I will leave it for about a week for the runner to establish the roots before I cut the string. And one last topic that I want to talk about is how to protect the fruits from birds and other rodents that try to steal your fruits. So I don't have problem with those. I have problem with my dog because he love strawberry so much so i'm using organza bag that i ordered from amazon and this bag working so well and make sure you only bag fruits not a lot of a whole bunch of flowers because you want to leave the flowers for the bees to pollinate it first all right guys so that's it for today video i hope you enjoy and if you have any questions just Leave in the comment below and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. And thank you so much for watching.